A very good morning to you and welcome back. You're now on the Entrepreneur Spotlight on the weekend show. As shelter is one of our fundamental human needs, real estate holds a paramount role in our lives and economies, encompassing homes, offices, and land, shaping communities and livelihoods. Real estate serves as both a basic need and a wealth-building asset, making it a vital component of modern society. The dynamics of real estate are multifaceted, influenced by economic trends, demographics, and location. The real estate industry employs millions from architects to engineers, masons to brokers, creating job opportunities and propelling economic growth. And today on the Entrepreneur Spotlight, we have an amazing guest with us. Good morning. Thank Welcome you. to the Spotlight. It's a pleasure being here. <laughs> okay. So um, can you start by giving us a brief overview of your background and experience in real estate? All right. Um, just for the purpose of uh, 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 introduction, my name is Sylvester Afolabi. I'm the number one Africa's co-lord master. And then um, in 2011, I came into the real estate business um, and then uh, got my first plots of land in 2011. Uh, I, I would have to mention the amount so that uh, whoever is... Uh, uh, not seeing the intention of going into real estate could begin to see the opportunity and the future real estate holds. Mm -hmm. I got that land for 100,000 era. As I speak to you now, that same plot of land, I have not sold it, it's about 4 million. Wow. Uh, and then a lot of other places too that I've also, also bought. So that is actually, of course, uh, from my own personal experience. As a company, we have uh, floated series of site and service plots, um, both inside and outside of, of Abuja, and uh, I mean, very uh, great locations for individuals who want to go into land investment, property investment, land banking, uh, of course, a few of which I hope to attend to in the course of this session. And so uh, between 2015, when we came on to uh, the proper real estate business, and now a lot of Nigerians and Nigerians in diaspora are smiling and then uh, have been able to invest wisely into real estate, and they are already yielding great returns from their investment. Interesting. So, um, as the MD of Richard Homes and Properties, can you tell us what, um, what sets you apart from other um, real estate companies and agents you, we have out there in terms of your approach and um, expertise? Thank you. Um, before now, we discovered that uh, they are only uh, the only individuals who are able to acquire or invest in real estate are the very rich, all right? Those with high income, individuals who have been able to amass some huge amounts of money and keep reaping from their capacity, from their financial powers, but being able to put so much into real estate. However, Recap Homes and Properties Limited, we avail every single individual the opportunity to invest in real estate being rich, average, low income earners. Uh, because the system with which we operate gives room for what we call the co-investing scheme. And the co-investing uh, scheme is designed in a way that even if you are not able to afford the property, given the cost of the property, you can uh, come into partnership, you can come into uh, our co under our co-investing scheme, having two, three persons who have what we call the tenancy in common investors, tenancy in common investors, and are able to buy this property, be it land, be it house, and in whatever location we, where you are sure of your return on investment. So with this, we have been able to give every single individual who are set, who have the mindset, because the truth is that a lot of people have the money, and then uh, they are just hoping that someday they are going to start uh, investing in property. But the truth is that every single person living on earth right now should be thinking assets, thinking investment, thinking returns. Uh, like I would always say, uh, it is not what you drive that matters, but what drives you. Mm -hmm. A lot of people uh, have, have this money, 
but they would rather choose to live very expensive life while they push their plan to acquire property till later. And by the time they are hoping to get that done, their expenses begin to outweigh their income. And once your expenses is higher than your income, your upkeep becomes your downfall. And so you're not even able to invest in the real estate. But for us, we give opportunity no matter how much you have, you are able to invest. That's why we have things like the land banking, a place where you can buy land, be patient, because if you don't have or you cannot give it time, you cannot invest in land banking. Like, that's why I had to share my own uh, experience. A place I bought land for less than 100000 now selling $4 million. Uh, And in the next, in the coming years, well, <laughs> we cannot tell. It is, it, it, you, you don't buy land and begin to feed it. You don't buy land and mm -hmm. begin to, it is just there, and it begins to appreciate for you. On so, its own. So. Interesting, interesting. Now, as soon as I, I realized that you were in the real estate business, I have been itching to ask you this question because now there's a lot of fraudulent people in the real estate industry. There's a lot of people who um, sell um, properties that are in dispute, properties that are under court cases in the real estate business. So how does a buyer detect um, fraudulent agents. Agent. What are the telltale signs you look out for? What, what are the, the, how do you do your due diligence in order to check the, the, the um, availability of a property before um, purchasing it? Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to answer this question in two ways. One, what factors you consider before buying and what things you must do after purchase. Now, if you are going to buy a property, you see the challenge with Nigerians is that you don't want to spend money to do the right thing, and then because of your avoidance in doing due diligence, you end up spending much more than you would have if you had done the right thing. Now, for individuals who are planning to, as a matter of fact, this has also discouraged a lot of people from even considering the real estate uh, investment. So I'm going to clarify this. One, you must be willing to spend for survey. You must be willing to spend for uh, search, because when you are approaching to buy a property, there's what we call the committed uh, property. These are properties that have been hire marked by the government for government projects. Now, a lot of landowners have ignorantly acquired these properties, and they have been able to find their way to get what they call the fake survey plan of this property. Now, it is with this fake survey plan that they have victimized innocent Nigerians. Now, so my advice is if you want to buy a property, as a matter of fact, the first time you are going to check a property, which you call, we call inspection, should not be the moment you are making payment for that land. Be prepared to visit that land at least four times. One, inspecting with the agents you are buying from. Two, visiting that land with your surveyor who is going to be what we call the coordinates of the land, not the survey plan that is given to you on paper, the coordinates of the land with which is going to go into any department, registry, or the Soviet General of the Federation Office to chart that property, to be sure that it is actually legitimate and to be sure that that property has not been I mark for government project. Now, once you're done with that, the third thing you want to do is to engage the service of a lawyer. That's the third time I believe you should be stepping into that property. Engage the service of a lawyer. Always start by making what we call the local, local investigation to be sure that that property is not, or has not been sold to somebody before. And in that local setting, they are able to tell that person the truth. And once you're done with that, it is the same lawyer who will proceed to the court to ensure that that property does not have a current legal dispute. Mm -hmm. All right. Once he's done with that, he's going to go to what we call the probate registry. Now, the probate registry is important because if, for instance, I have my dad, my father, who haven't passed on, will the property to the family. Now, it's possible that that property was willed to my elder brother, but because we are the same family, I want to go and sell it. So at probate registry, you are able to tell who that land has been willed yeah. to. So that if the, the, any of the siblings who doesn't have right of that land is going to buy, is going to sell it, you can, that's a signal that you have to pick. The first time you want to go to that land is to begin to ask the value of the property. 
I'll share my experience. Two years ago, a friend of mine bought a property somewhere at 700,000. And so he, he told me to come and buy, and a year after, he mentioned this to me, and I went there. The land he bought for 700, I bought it for 500. Why? Because he didn't make his inquiry on the land. Once you are done with that, then you begin to talk about your readiness to buy the property. So all Wonderful. of this diligence must be done. Wonderful. Before you go into it. Mr. Fodabi, you do have a lot to say about this, and you're very, very passionate about this because... Because a lot of people have lost lose their money. Don't I understand, I understand, which is how I had to put that question out there because a lot of people are falling victims, especially, as you mentioned, selling one piece of property to multiple buyers, and at Sorry. the end of the day, they have to keep clashing in court mm -hmm. and having a lot of cases. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for coming on. I wish we had more time to delve into this topic. I still have a whole lot of questions, but I know we're going to be seeing you on subsequent episodes Thank to you, throw more light on this topic because this is something our viewers really, really need to be enlightened and educated about. Appreciate Thank you so much, Mr. Sylvester, for coming on the here. weekend show. Thank you. Thank you. But there you have it, people. Mr. Sylvester of Alabi of Recap Homes and Properties. Your little wrap or the entrepreneur spotlight on the weekend show, but stay tuned. We still have many more segments coming up right after the short break. I'm Tender Chimelu. Stay tuned. <laughs>